Hello my lovelies, welcome or welcome back to my channel, I hope everyone is doing well. So my name is Charlotte and I create videos on motherhood, lifestyle, a little bit of fashion, um, beauty and a little bit of home decor as well. Um, I have been off for about a month, I just sort of took a little break, it was just, I found like it was just all getting a little bit too much here on the internet. Um, which is why I took down the video of Jacob's weaning journey. So he won't be making as much of an appearance as I sort of wanted, but his safety comes before anything. Um, we also had some other things going on and yeah, I just needed a little bit of time off. But now we have hit autumn. Well, I say autumn, it's now 28 degrees outside. I really wanted to do this video in like a nice cozy jumper, but hey ho, it is autumn. Um, and yeah, I've got a load more ideas and content coming your way. So please don't forget to subscribe if you love things like that. Um, yeah, let's get on into this video. I'm so excited. Okay, so I picked up, I think it's mainly home decor. Um, like I said, there is a little bit of Christmas in here. So yeah, I'm really sorry if it's too early for people, but I'm super excited this year. I cannot wait. Um, I think I'm just going to do it shop by shop um, and sort of just dig it. I'm also waiting on a delivery from another little shop that I found on Instagram. Um, so what I'll do is I'll insert a little clip in a second, um, go through that, and then we will get on with the haul. All right, guys. So this is my little order I've been waiting for. It's from Smelly Saurus, which I just absolutely love that name. Um, I found her on Instagram. She's super, super lovely. And yeah, I got all of these little wax melts. Um, I would show you my face, but I look a hot mess right now. So I got Nectarine and Honey Blossom and Embers and Fireworks. I'm really excited to see what that one's like. Also got Bedtime Baby Bath, which I just thought is so cute. And then Red Hot Cinnamon. This I can smell out of the package already. It smells amazing. Um, and then we got Blackberry and Bay Leaf and that one's got a little pumpkin on i'll get some of these out of the packets in a minute um and then i also got i can't remember what it's called is it like the brittle bar or something um of toasted marshmallow which was just like very autumnal and this one which is banana nut bread oh my goodness i'm really sorry if you can hear jacob crying as well he's waiting for his bottle um and then it also comes with this little um sort of cards thank you for your order scratch below for your prize hang on i'll do that in just a second and then also what i love is she's um also popped in a little stick so you can sort of hey we provide a little stick to mix up the wax and revive the shimmer when remelting which is really cute and also these um they're the ones that dissolve which I absolutely love so i love all this packaging um yeah let me just hold you right then i'm just going to get some of them out the Packet. okay so i just got a couple out because i didn't want to remove all of them from the packaging but this is the um toasted marshmallow one. Oh my goodness this smells amazing and how pretty is that with the little pumpkins and then this is the nectarine and honey blossom and my little prize was 10 percent off my next order which is just oh they're so lovely really really lovely so yeah let's get on let's go tk maxx first Okay, so I really struggled, and I think a lot of other people have um, this year, with, you know, those absolute gorgeous pumpkins that TK Maxx and Home Sense usually do. Um, yeah, I've really struggled to find one. However, I did go into Home Sense, was it yesterday? And I found this really, really cute little one. It's not exactly the one I wanted, but, however, it is super, super cute. So, I picked this little guy up from TK Maxx and he was 4 This I walked in and this lady was looking at this and I thought, and it was the only one there, literally like the only pumpkin. And I thought, um, oh no, she's gonna get it. And then she walked off and I grabbed it. And yeah, I think she went back to try and get it. I felt really bad, but I thought, oh no, I really wanted this. Um, that sounds really bad for me, doesn't it? But yeah, so I got this 4 99 and this one also lights up. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it really as it's so sunny outside. Um, I don't know if you can see the light in there. 
but yeah I just thought that was really really nice and I thought for 4 99 as well and it's quite neutral um like I've said before we are sort of hopefully planning on moving so I think I'm going to go for like nice cozy cozy decor in our next home so I've got that and then again this is another thing I've struggled to find um, but I managed to find a skinny cinnamon syrup. Um, I'll probably add this to my coffees, hot chocolates, maybe a bit of baking. And this was 3 99 so I didn't think that was that bad. It was literally tucked right at the back of a shelf. There was loads of other ones, but they were just sort of like plain vanilla. They were quite sort of plain flavours. Um, but yeah, I thought this was really, really nice. I am still trying to find the elusive pumpkin spice. Again, I think people are just struggling. I don't know if because of home sense, like a lot of it comes from America, doesn't it? So I'm not sure if that's the reason. Um, and then also from TK Maxx, I will show you little bits of like this because it just excites me. I got this. How cute. So it's a little pumpkin outfit, obviously for Jacob. This was $9.99. They actually had a lot of um, like children's fancy dress costumes in there. Um, obviously, however, I don't know if we're going to be able to have parties in that this year, but we shall see. But I got him that. And it also comes with a cute little hat. And yeah, I just thought it was really cute. And I thought even if we don't have like a Halloween get together, I'm just going to dress him up in that and just take some really cute photos for Instagram. So yeah, got him that. Where to next? Oh, I'll do this really random one. Okay, so you're going to think I've lost it. I went into the range and I picked up some PVA glue. I can't remember how much this was. I think it was like a two pounds, which I don't think it was that bad for that size. So basically what I'm going to do is I've baked some pine cones. I found this little like DIY on Pinterest and you can use like essential oils and soak them, but they take like four to eight weeks. And I thought, well, if you need a Christmas by then. But um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do the cheeks way. You cover them in glue, you sprinkle, I also picked up some of this from Asta, some cinnamon, sprinkle cinnamon over them, wait for the glue to dry. Um, I think you do it in a Ziploc bag as well. So they sort of like, I don't know, like getting a flavour, I guess. Um, and yeah, hopefully I'll have some nice little pine cones smelling of cinnamon. So yeah, that's probably the most randomest thing ever anyone's ever put in an autumnal haul. Um, okay, sticking with the range, I then picked up, these are probably a little bit more Christmassy. Well, they are because one's called Christmas cookie, but <laughs> I wanted to show you. So I picked up this little rediffuser in Christmas cookie. It was $1.99. They had some really nice, these True Aroma, I've had some candles from them and they're brilliant. They're so, so good and they're so cheap. Um, they're a little bit of a dupe for the Yankee candle, but they are really, really good for the price. So yeah, I've got Christmas cookie. And I also got caramel apple, which oh, just so good. I think I'm going to leave, I'll probably use the caramel apple first and then leave the other one for Christmas. Okay, so next, this is like just super random, but again, on the Christmas theme, I'm really sorry. But I went into Matalan and I picked up this little tape dispenser and it was only 50p. Because um, if you know me, you know how much I love to use <laughs> tape on my wrapping so it doesn't come undone so I thought that would help me out this year um I'm hoping you can get more tape so to put in there because I use a lot okay so now moving on I actually went into Asda and as of like their home stuff I feel like George like have like upped their game so first of all I picked up a, a brownie is this a brownie pan but brownie tin um i thought this was really cute this was five pounds as well i think five pounds and um i just thought this was really nice because then they're sort of individual little brownies um because i'm actually going to make hold there some terry's chocolate orange brownies so i picked up the bourneville orange dark chocolate which looks so so yummy i think these were all i've found i picked up some extra dark chocolate and I did pick up a Terry's chocolate orange to obviously decorate with, um, but I ate it last night. So I'm going to have to go back to the shops and get some more Terry's. So yeah, I picked that up for a little bit of baking. 
I also picked up from Asda these new Jaffa cakes in orange and cranberry. Oh, I'm sorry, but at the minute I'm literally addicted to Jaffa cakes. The other night I ate 24. I mean, what is wrong with me? But yeah, and these were only, I think they were a pound. So um, you only get 10 in these. But yeah, I cannot wait. This is why I wanted to get this video filmed so I could eat these. I then picked up some marshmallows. I really struggled. Can anyone tell me if anyone has found the mini marshmallows that are like vegetarian or don't have like pork gelatin in? Because um, these have beef gelatin in, but I really want like the mini ones. So me and the kids can have like hot chocolates with cream, marshmallows and sprinkles. Give them that extra. And then I found these in George at Asda and these were £2 each. They're bamboo canisters, but they are sort of like plasticky. Um, I was going to get some glass ones, um, but I know what our household's like and I can be quite clumsy. And I just thought these were really like nice, really sort of plain. I'm going to get some labels printed. So I'm going to fill one with marshmallows and one with hot chocolate and make like a little hot chocolate station this year because I just absolutely love that idea and last year I was having like a hot chocolate like every single night um I was pregnant so it's <laughs> probably why okay so next from Asda I picked up now uh Freya Farrington actually showed these on her on her channel um but my sister actually introduced me to them a couple of weeks ago so it's the little wax mats and you can get three packets for five pounds these smell insane so i got the cuddle up which um that's the one that i actually smell at my sister's and it's tonka and oud and it's just incredible i then got welcome home which is which is sugar apple cinnamon, which again, super cute, super autumnal, Christmassy. And then I also got dancing leaves. Um, don't know what that is, but it says there is beauty and simplicity. Yeah, so I don't actually know what this one has in it, but they just smell like this is just like autumn Christmas. I'm gonna to have to go get some more of those. I don't actually have a wax melt either. So I've got all these wax melts and I need to find one. I'm trying to find a really nice sort of simple, cute one, but I can't seem to find them. So I got that. Okay, moving on to the white company. I went in there to get Jacob a jelly cat bunny rabbit because I just wanted to get him one in such a long time. So I got him that. And then I also picked up one of their little white ceramic pumpkins. This was eight pounds, which I know is a bit excessive for the most tiniest little pumpkin but a how cute is that like it's just adorable and b like i'm going to be using it for like every year so as long as no one smashes it like it will last um but yeah i'm actually putting that on his little shelf in his like nursery area and um, i just want to do like a little shelf for, like an autumn themed one and then i'll sort of move on and do it like Christmassy. so he's got a bit of like decoration in his little nursery um but yeah i just thought just so cute isn't it so i wish they did bigger ones of these like so cute right where to next okay so next i went to primark um i'm going to show you little bits i got for jacob just because i absolutely adore them and yeah this is what i sort of do on my channel just there's little bits for jacob thrown in whenever i do a haul um, so first of all, I picked up this cute little jumper. Um, this is in 69 months and it was £6. I feel like they're slowly creeping up their prices, Primark. Don't know about anyone else. Um, but yeah, I just thought, I mean, how beautiful is that? I think I might pick up another one in, in like his next size up. Um, but Shaz actually um, booked us a little getaway to Bath next month. So I just thought if we go out for dinner um, or even like just day to day i mean just how cute okay and then i picked him up i mean not very autumnal but cozy pajamas and um, these little mickey mouse pajamas or mickey and pluto i should say these were five pounds which i thought was really really good for a whole like set seeing as just that one jumper was six pounds but yeah so i've got those really cute again in six to nine Again, I might pick those up in like the next size up because I know he's going to love those. I mean, he's only six months old, but he sees Mickey and then he just 
has this biggest grin on his face. Um, oh, quickly popping back to Asda. I picked him up these three um, sleep suits. They were £7.50. Um, but again, how cute are they? Really nice autumn colours. This middle one says Mummy's Little Pear, which I just think is so cute. So yeah, I got him some of these. Now that he's like weaning, I find that he's going through a lot more clothes because obviously he gets so stained. Um, I'm having to like, sort of soak them in nappy sand and stuff like that. So picked up some more of those. Going back to Primark, um, I then picked up a nice cozy throw. This was five pounds. Um, it's just a small one, but just sort of while it's just autumn, I think near Christmas, I'm gonna treat myself to like a really nice Christmassy one. Um, but this is just super, super soft. I actually got rid of all my, I actually got rid of all my throws. Um, well, I actually cut off like a little bit because when I get older, I wanna have like one big throw, like when I'm sort of old and gray, so I can snuggle up. Um, but yeah, you can't go wrong with Primark throws and it's this gorgeous cream color, a little bit ribbed there and it's just, yeah. Really nice. These all are also really good for like um, presents at Christmas. Like they just sort of bulk things out. Okay, so next I picked up some new slippers. These were four pounds. Um, these ones are just so comfortable. I bought a pair when I was about to give birth to Jacob. I put them in my hostel bag. Um, but I just, yeah, I just need some new ones now. And I just really like these colours. I thought they were quite sort of Christmassy. Um, but yeah, again, really cute, like stocking filler present or something like that. Absolutely love these. And they are super comfortable. Oh, and they're machine washable. Contours to your feet. So yeah, love those. Okay, next, okay, I'm sort of mainly going on to like Christmas stuff here. So I do apologise. So next I picked up, look at these. These pajamas, I got them in a size medium, which is 12 to 14, because I like them oversized, and they were eight pounds. And I just thought they were adorable. And I love, these are my favorite types of pajamas, like these ones here. Um, and I haven't been able to find any other ones at all. So I saw these and I know they're Christmassy and I probably will I'll probably wait like a little bit to wear them. Um, but yeah, I just thought they were so, so cute. And I also find these ones do wash really well. Um, like if you wash them to the instructions, they don't tend to shrink that badly. So yeah, really, really love those. Oh, we're on to the final box. Okay. How exciting. So I ordered off of, it's called Pretty Little Home. Is it Pretty Little Home? Yeah, Pretty Little Home on Instagram. Found them on Instagram. And in back in August, they were doing a Christmas sale. And I thought, brilliant. Um, I just find that's like the best time to buy Christmas stuff. Sorry, there's a crazy amount of wrapping in here. So I firstly picked up, oh, this is so cute guys, I can't remember how much these were though, they were in a sale, I want to say like this is reduced down to like £5 or something, maybe even less, <sighs> look at it, it says ho ho ho, no, ho ho hot chocolate, it's got like little hollies there and it's like huge, which I love and then it also came with Stuff like this just makes me so happy. Like, yeah, little things. And then it also came with a little spoon. So you put the little spoon in there with your hot chocolate and then you can eat your marshmallows. Oh, I'm like, I love this time of year. Like I used to think I was more of a summer person because I used to love going on my holidays and stuff like that. But no, like I'm definitely a winter, winter person, winter autumn person. Okay, so my final little purchase was, I don't know how I'm going to show you this actually, maybe I'll show you the picture first and then I'll get it out. This little 
nativity set and um, this was reduced to like i want to say like eight pounds i think um i'm not sure if they're on there anymore i'll leave the link to her instagram down below so you can check them out but um yeah i'm not sure what the picture is but i just had this thing about when i got older and had my own house like I wanted to have a nativity set because my mum had one when we were little and I just I don't know it's like quite nostalgic I don't know maybe I'm just a bit silly but I just yeah I really wanted one and then I found this absolute gorgeous I'm going to try hold this up without it falling out sort of white and gold set which I just thought was absolutely lovely um I mean look at the little baby Jesus you see that and it's just they've finished really really nicely um this is the little sort of house for it it's a little bit dusty i'm really sorry but yeah i just thought they were lovely they're just really well made um and yeah and i thought for i'm pretty sure it was eight pounds i think it might have been cheaper but i just thought yeah they were so so lovely one of the three wise men and also the white and gold aesthetic is obviously beautiful. So yeah, that's my little, I think this is probably my favourite purchase. Like I absolutely loved it. And I always remember me and my sister used to like play with them, even though you know, I don't think you're supposed to. Um, but we used to like play with them. And uh, yeah, I just can't wait to start decorating. So on this channel, I will be decorating for Christmas on the 1st of November. Because as soon as Halloween finishes, it's Christmas time for me. All right, guys, so that was my little autumnal haul. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, if you do like content like this, please stick around. We've got some more, obviously, hauls, Christmas hauls, Christmas gift guides. We've got autumn sort of bake with me's. Um, I'll be showing you how I do the brownies as well because oh, I'm so excited for those. So, yeah, I'm going to do little things like this, just cosy, lovely. I mean, I say cosy. It's boiling hot right now, but... Um, yeah, I'm just super, super excited. So yeah, if you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And I will see you all in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.